Okay, my name is Rick and I'm from Gamer Wraps. And I want to talk to you a little bit about these skins on how to apply them, maybe how to clean your Quest or your VR, and basically just answer some questions that I get almost daily on eBay and through my website. So first of all, these skins are made of cast wrap. This is car wrap, the same thing as what you wrap a car with. They're not calendared vinyl. Calendared means it's not meant for curves. This is cast, so it's meant for curved surfaces. Now, does that mean that they're easy to install? No. But the difficulty to install these is only based on your knowledge on how to install them. Um, I install these all the time, so it's easy. But if you're doing it for your first time, it can be very challenging. So I'm just pretty much going to show you guys basically how to install these and how to remove your skin. So I've had this skin on for a little while now, maybe a couple months. Even if it was a couple years, this should come off just fine. Um, usually I recommend no more than two years, but I have had one on a laptop for almost nine years. After nine years, it came off nice and clean still. That's the advantage of car wrap. It's um, a lot better. The adhesive stays on the sticker, not on your device. Um, don't be fooled by some of the other competitors because they use the cheap wrap or just cheap vinyl. And you notice if their stuff is extremely sticky or has like a white background, this is a gray, if it has a white background, a white adhesive side, it's probably not the right vinyl and it will mess up your Quest or your whatever device you're putting them on. So let's try to take this off, let's see. So I'm just gonna start peeling it with my fingernail. Once I grab it, it's starting to come right off. You see, this vinyl is not very tacky. And when you first start installing these, you think, oh man, this isn't gonna stick. But it starts to stick more over time. Get some dust off of it. I mean, you can't really reuse these. I mean, if you take them off, this one's pretty good. I could heat this up and make it look brand new again. As long as it doesn't have anything in the back of it, like a hair or something dirty, you probably could reuse it. But they're cheap enough, you know, why reuse them? Well, let's see, I'll pick this one. I don't sell this skin, but we'll pick this one to install. This is just one of my personal skins. So basically the trick is this. Hopefully this gets it on camera good. But you wanna lay it down where you want it to be. Like just kinda of get, get to where you want it. You got a, plenty of chances to pull it back up. I don't know if I can do it at this angle. <laughs> all right let's say this is where i wanted it to be this is exactly where it needs to be um it might not be perfect it probably could go maybe down a little but this is just for showing you guys how to install these now you don't want to just start installing it from this side over to this side because it will screw up so you, what you want to do is you want to get down the center first just the whole center piece right there now lift up one side and do this motion in the middle with your finger, kind of working out those bubbles. If you feel that it might wrinkle or something, just kind of take it easy. You're creating kind of a heat by going back and forth and you're making adhesive actually a little stickier, but so I'm just working around until I get all the way to the edge. I'm just working it evenly. A little tricky in this position. Usually I got it in front of me using my thumb, but see when you get to the very edge, you think, oh man, these are gonna for sure be creases. But if you just work at them, because this is car wrap, you work at them, they will come out. And some will pop up every now and then. You just gotta put them down. But I'll show you also how to stop that from happening. So I got that half done. Now I want to do the other half. Basically, just grab it, pull it up to the center, and start the same process again, doing this side. So what you're doing is you're kind of stretching it over the natural curves, instead of just slapping it on and trying to work one side at a time, which never works. I mean, it is easy to do, you just gotta kinda take your time at it. 
almost there. It's working those out. And I'll show you what to do with these little these little guys. Now normally one step I didn't do, which I didn't really need to do because I had another skin on it, but normally you want to wipe this off with isopro alcohol or even water or you know something, just something to get all the dust and uh, grease and whatever off your skin, off your from your skin to this. Now you can work at these. If you sit here and do this for a while, you will get those. You'll get them to stay down. But to get them to permanently stay down, you basically take a blow dryer and you heat this up. You just heat it up from, you know, 10 inches away, 12 inches away, get it nice and warm, and then take your thumb, and it just speeds up this process. And it'll actually make it so the skin fits right on here and naturally curve to it and stay that way, just like a car wrap. You know, a lot of the car wraps, you gotta heat them up. Obviously, I put this skin on real fast without really centering it, so I have a little bit of overlap here. I could have went down on that side, but you get the idea. I'm taking this right back off anyway. But that is how I do it with no bubbles. Only thing I have left now, there's not a single bubble in there. Only thing I have left now is the creases on the ends, and I can just take any kind of little, you know, blow dryer or anything that has heat. Just if you do, if you use a heat gun or something, make sure you're far away from this. You don't want to melt this or damage your device. But yeah, that is how you install these. Make sure you clean them first really well. Get your oils and greases off this. And I hope this helps you guys and answer some questions on how to install a skin. Thank you. Okay, so there's just a few more things I want to show you guys. I'll actually show you guys the process of using heat. So I've let this sit here. See these little lines? Hopefully, let me see if I can zoom in on this. These little tiny lines in here, these little wrinkles. I'm trying to get it to, there we go. All right, let's see what happens with a heat gun to it. come right out looks perfect smoothed it right up so basically you do that all the way around and you'll be able to get all these little lines out I know it's hard to see there we go but yeah you'll be able to get all these little lines out that you have you'll be able to make this look brand new and it should stay if your room gets really cold a few might come back up but that rarely happens now I want to show you one other thing just to show you guys how good this vinyl is we're gonna take this off Carefully. Okay, so we're removing it. And we're gonna do this. All right. <laughs> okay, so I wrinkled the crap out of it. Let me show you guys something. This is car wrap. This is pretty magical stuff. Now, granted, you should be using a heat gun when you wanna make a wrinkled up graphic look brand new, but this will probably work. I know you can't see nothing. There you go. So, it looks a million times better. Now watch this. This is already a little warm, so It'll be a little tackier than normal. Let's see what I can do here on camera. I gotta hold this with one hand and look at the camera. A little tough, but I'll get it. So I wrinkled the crap out of this paper, out of this vinyl. So technically you think, oh, it's no good. It's done for, but not done for whatsoever. Got to do the same process. I 
can even use some heat. Watch this. Now when you use heat, you are gonna make the more of a chance of these wrinkling if you go sideways against the little, um, what do you call these little elbows and fingers, they call them. I'm trying to keep it on camera, but I gotta go up here. Doing a terrible job, sorry. This thing was pretty wrinkled up, pretty messed up. I could work at this for a little, a couple minutes, but I'm gonna speed it up. Obviously I didn't do the other half, but it looks pretty good, pretty amazing. There's one tiny little dust spot right there, but you can't really see it on camera. It's so little. It's only because, you know, when I pulled this off, dust got attracted to it, stuck right to it. But now I can do the same thing to this side, and I got myself my same graphic I had, even though I wrinkled it up and threw it back on. So I just want to show you guys how durable that stuff is. Um, if you guys think twice about, you know, or scared about putting a sticker on these products. They're pretty good. They're pretty awesome. So hope you enjoyed it.